Sadly, there is almost no word about two strokes. They have some flaws, but no one can deny their advantages. Mainly compactness, low weight and high power output. Everybody knows many two stroke cars, but in this video I will try to introduce you some less known but not less interesting ones. Suzuki Jimny Right off when the Jimny was introduced, it received two-stroke engines. This mini SUV was even classified as a K-car with the smallest 360cc two-cylinder. It weighs just under 600 kilograms and was able to reach a top speed of only 75 km per hour. Besides, there was also a two-stroke freebanger with a similar output but stronger torque. Commod TS3 Before you get crazy how a flat engine can be a 3 cylinder, this engine has only 3 combustion chambers with 6 pistons. They aim towards each other in pairs, propelling a single crankshaft underneath through pivoting rockers. As a 2 stroke diesel, it needs a blower to get air inside and also to scavenge the exhaust outside. Berkeley T60 Berkeley was a Biggleswade based automaker in England producing tiny sports cars. They were also meant to be economical, therefore their engines were small as well. Most of them are powered by two strokes, as did this three-wheeled Berkeley T60. It was an instant success, as it was legally drivable with a motorcycle license and being cheaper on taxis than four-wheelers. DKW3 equals 6. This DKW model was a compact size rival to the Volkswagen Beetle. Although the Beetle had a bigger box of 4 stroke engine, the 3 equals 6 had just about the same power and torque. It was a highly popular car around West Germany with more than 130,000 built altogether in all configurations sedan, coupe, station wagon, and even convertible. Colo Windfirst P1 This Colo Windfirst race car has a nice story. Color is a Wisconsin based plumbing company also making engines. The other one is a racing team with which they teamed up and using their engine in a third party chassis they've joined the Formula C series fielded by Sports Cars Club of America. DKW F102 
The F-102 already received the following branding, in front being a predecessor to the very first Audis. It was also one of the last two-stroke cars with a three-cylinder engine. With over 33,000 sold, it featured a four-speed all-synchromous manual transmission. Eventually, it was accommodated for a four-stroke engine, being rebranded to the Audi F-103, the first Audi since 1938. Goliath GP700. Built by Borgward, its world premiere took place in Geneva Motor Show in 1950. Sold as a sedan, station wagon, coupe, cabriolet and a panel van, there were three straight twin options, 688cc, 886cc and a 845cc. It started at 25 horsepower in case of a carbureted unit, up to a 51 horsepower 0.9 litre with a fuel injection. Saab Sonnet The Saab Sonnet was sold in three different series with various power plants. Besides the Ford V4, there were two versions of the three-cylinder two-stroke with power output between 57 to 60 horsepower. It was a front-wheel drive car with the engine just behind the front wheels, making it a front mid-engine sports car.